first time airport bus got seat. First time she looks like a city bus, not like an airport bus. Hey, can straight go to the city? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome to Romania, everyone. Our last stop of the week. Very, very good. <laughs> so 20 lay for this multi blue car I loaded the 72 hours I mean we loaded the 72 hours pass onto this car just for overground transports that means it doesn't include the metro so you just have to validate it every single time you ride it ride any of the overground services on such a device that you see but yeah, I'm just gonna wait right now. Oh, now all crowded. It's our apartment in Romania. I come into the kitchen area. Coffee machine. Then here. Living sofa double bed, air conditioning, TV. The master room has a king bed and TV again, and a toilet with bathtub. Clean. And washing machine. So this is like our first scenes in Romania, Bucharest. That small little sign there is their tram line. So small, I can't even see. Yeah, it's so small. Lini 16. Lini 16. No, there's a proper name one. Anyway, yeah. It's tribe soup. How is it? Raw impression of the soup. You try and help me. It's like butter soup. Yeah. It smells very buttery. Yeah. I haven't even tried it, but. But I think it's got like creamy taste kind of thing. Hey, it tastes like. It tastes like the, uh, the garlic, garlic soup, but then this is more diluted only. Mm. And this was some funny, funny taste at, 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 the end. at the end. So we ordered some michi, pork neck grill. This is, I don't know what this is, this is a mixture, like a mixed grill kind of thing. And this one is? Stew pork. Pork stew with polenta. Polenta is this. Mm. <laughs> that expression. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is even I try. It won't worse, eh? This is even worse than uh, gin. Mm. Than gin, ah. Gin, 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 gin is nothing, what? By itself, ah. This is palinka. Yeah, I think more than you, you know. <coughs> <coughs> wow, I understand. Hey, this is like very, very, very strong so version yeah. of vodka. Of vodka. See, mm. really strong vodka. version of vodka. This one, this one really cannot. Eh? Ah, Kafu. So we are on one of the high streets in Old Town. Starbucks, but it's not open anymore. Closed. But well, I kind of like the feeling here, like, in a way. People are nice in a way so far. Too much 
vandalism. Yeah. Graffitis. This is my sister ordering. Can you update uh, My sister ordering grab food from Romania. From Malaysia. Yeah, in Malaysia from Romania. Yeah, Wow. And we are now night. We are now out at night looking for dinner. A bit late. Eight something. Ah, let's see. It's about eight p.m. something. So we're at Aubergine restaurant. Queen in a restaurant in the old part of Bucharest. Every time my wife is, is the photographer, so are we having mixed seafood? Mixed so seafood this, pasta. We're having mixed seafood pasta. And then this one is stir fried prawn with rice. Stir fried prawn with rice. And yours is only mixed seafood. Mixed seafood. From Calamari Masol. Then I come again. I think all the old old town places are like red light districts like that. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't bring him from Malaysia. <laughs> so this fountain got show one at night. It's one of the most digital, uh, biggest digitally controlled fountain in the world. Ne? You see, got pattern one. It's moving one. The churches. Well, something that happened in the eighties is um, how 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 should I put it? As an it's hidden option of destroying churches. Why they wanted to do so? Well, mostly because religion and communism work because officially we have no date when Bucharest was built or who built it or who put it on the map. There's like, since when on? Uh, is it? There's a, it used to be a historical in here. I think she said 17 something. Okay, let's take a picture. Lah. Come. Why so old? Well, it doesn't look old because it was renovated many times during the years, but its original year of construction was 1559. We have an official document to attest the year when it was built, and that's why we consider it to be the oldest because that's the first we have. Yeah. Uh, in time, this, uh, this church actually served as the coronation place of the new ruler in Bulgaria. Okay, so we're following the tour right now. Still following. Brother, are you listening? Yes. Yes, and uh, the houses were made out of wood. So imagine that ignited very fast, spread all over the city very fast. So it was very, very hard to to stop. It lasted for months. Destroyed more than 50% of Bucharest at the time. 50% of Bucharest at the time was around 2,000 households. So basically, not that big. 
Catholic Church with this architectural style in Bucharest, and this is what the Romanian people are calling the Romanian traditional style. Right. Yes. So Florentine influence, or I don't know. Well, this is actually the Romanian traditional style. It's a mix of architectural styles put together. Uh, it's called also the Brunco Venezia <laughs> style because the first person who mixed it. Up Proud. I already told you about the three Romanian provinces that were divided, were separated, were ruled by different rulers. But how we got to be Romania, I didn't explain. Yes, the thing is, is since somebody asked me about the Romanian language and why it's so, it sounds like Italian or why it's, it, it, it sounds like Latin. Yes, let me show you a picture if I find it. Well. One thing you have to know about me that I'm not very well organized, as you can probably see. For Romania, for the three Romanian provinces, we had this. This country here was called Dacia. What's Dacia? The cars on the street, right? <laughs> and the former territory that today is Romania, yeah? That was conquered by the Romans. They had two wars, yes, uh, between 101 and 102, and 104 and 105. At the end, they were conquered. The Romans stayed here for about 170 years and they, then, then they left. Yes, what interest they had in Dacia? Well, to conquer a new territory and of course, yes, the gold that could be found in the mountains in this territory in Dacia. Yeah? People are saying that the uh, Romanian people actually are a mix between the Dacian and the Romans. From there it also comes the name Romanian from the Romans. Uh, mostly because the South, the Bulgarians and other Slavic like, uh, um, countries actually called us, yes, Balakians, and Balakia somehow means Romania, Romanians, and uh, well, people are saying, and the historians are saying, that the Romanian people actually are mixed, because during those 170 years, the Dacians mixed with the Romans, they made children, so ta -da, that's how the Romanian people appeared. Also, because this territory was conquered by the Romans, is also one of the reasons why people are saying that Romanian language has a Latin base. That's why it's Slavic mixed with, uh, with Latin. That's why for people from Italy or Spain or Portugal, it's easy to understand some of our words. And also for us, it's very easy to learn their language. But that applies also with uh, Spanish, Portuguese, and Italian. French language, even though it's a Latin language, that is something Romanian people don't really talk, even though we're called the little Paris for so long. Why? Because the grammar of the language is as a pain in the back is ours, <laughs> yes, and it's not very easy to learn, or I don't know, yeah? Well, because this territory, and at some point because it was divided, yes, this is how we got to these three Romanian provinces. against the back from front, and we won the competition. So basically, we can say that we're between the French, with the architectural style, and all the What? Only one. Only one. About this map. P. Basically, have no space. Four percent max. Huh? Uh, no, cannot, three percent. Three percent max. Oh, four also cannot close. Cannot the door close the door. Yeah. And if you accidentally open the door, it will stop. Cause he tried. Huh? You see, this one is close one. Ah, go open then. <laughs> Yesterday. Ah. Ah, uh, please. Oh. I'm going out. Oh, 
Bucharest accommodation. Oh, sorry. Dodo Balabun Pija. Okay, so this is treasure and beef soup, collage, cream of mushroom, Romanian style. What's this? Beef uh, pie. Yeah. Beef pie kind of thing. Yes. Yeah. We're in this local shop here. We just come here for lunch. And this is a typical lunch, just a soup and that pie thing. I want ice lemon tea. We are in Bukharest Mall. Of course. Don't wear the shop. Yeah. Video. Itu abang aku. Tram. Say Romania. Bukharest. Well, please, you just ride the uh, line one end to the other, like we ride our tube like that. No. Yeah. Your baby. This is a huge mall. Took us about 40 minutes to come from city center. This is Afi, guys. <laughs> Hello. Come, come, take, take, take a photo, take a photo, guys. Yeah, photo. So, by checking out, gonna go to the luggage storage. She's navigating, brother and me. This this is a lousy road to use wheel luggage. Yeah, cobble street. Ah, stop! Stop! Wow, oh, just over twenty kilo. No joke, man. We're in a very local place, I think. Yeah. 
Oh, this one long queue one. I think it's something very nice. <laughs> I think it's this thing ah. Chocolate, uh, coffee. Say coffee. Okay. Oh, 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 Barbecue stuff. Go on. First row. First row of food. Wow, one toilet roll. One point five two lay. Hey, but compile all the video that he's in. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see whether. Then this one. How many video he's in? Mitch again. This I don't know whether this will be our last time meeting Michi. But I yeah. I also don't know Michi. <laughs> ah so we are this food court in a local mall. Bokaris, nice. Yes, no. Can we do this on the bus? Yep. <laughs> okay. Anyway, it's a short. It's a quick yes for me. Um, this is gonna be the last scene before we jump to the airport because we're gonna carry the luggage. Gonna manage it on the way to the airport right now. You don't have the camera. Maybe I can see. Yeah, maybe. Okay. See you guys. Gonna head back to London tonight. <laughs> so we are on the bus. Just left the city center from Piata Unidi. That's my brother. Then we're actually very sweaty. You can see, like I'm very clean and then I'm clean. Except for because I have to carry like this. We are rushing for the bus, but we missed the first one. Cause the bus alone yeah. is like 45 minutes from the city center. Yeah. 